Hey there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World and today we're here in Tampa, Florida for the don'ts of visiting Tampa. And the first thing I need to get out of the way for you all is realize don't call it Tampa Bay. Look, it's the Tampa Bay area and Tampa Bay is that body of water out there, but the city is Tampa, okay? Just so you know, it's Tampa is the city, Tampa Bay area is, you know, St. Petersburg and Clearwater and all these kind of places. That's Tampa Bay area, okay? So I just want to get that out of the way because some people get a little bit confused. The city, it's called Tampa. And that kind of leads into our second don't is don't think you're just going to stay in Tampa. You're going to explore different parts. Yes, you can be in Tampa and see Ybor City, which is really cool to check out, or here in the downtown area. Maybe go to Seminole Heights, these kind of things. But you're more likely going to explore out more. Maybe you want to go see some Greek culture and stuff like that up at Tarpon Springs. Or maybe you want to go to some of the best beaches in the country in Clearwater. So you're going to be going around a lot when you are here. So it's not just in Tampa, the city. It's also this whole area when you're here. My next don't for you is don't think the beaches are here in Tampa. I know, you think Florida, you think Tampa, you think, oh, son, I'm going to hit the beach. And the thing is, yes, there are some beaches here in Tampa, but you don't want to go to those. You want to go to the Clearwater and St. Pete beaches. Those are a bit, maybe a bit more than a bit better. So there's that. Now, my next don't for you is don't forget you're going to have to drive around when you come here to Tampa, whether you're going to rent a car or you're driving down because public transportation here isn't really super efficient and the city is super spread out the whole area so you will be doing a bunch of driving and I'm gonna tell you don't be lackadaisical when you're driving you don't understand there's multiple types of drivers when you're here in Tampa if you're here in the winter you have the snowbirds who go about 45 in the 70 mile an hour lanes or you have the locals that are upset with all the tourists that are going 90 in the 70 mile an hour lanes or you got the people from Illinois going oh look at this Sun it's so great and they're going around the speed limit so you have all this out there and it can be very dangerous and I'll be honest with you the most dangerous part of your trip here to Tampa will be the traffic okay so have a heads up and when you're driving another don't with the driving don't be surprised if people take a u-turn kind of like on the highway or in the roads and stuff like that because they not in the road but like on the turnoffs because they can do that here also don't expect people to use their turn signals too much when you are here so always be paying attention don't be on your phone or doing something else pay attention to the road when you're driving and the thing is what I recommend is make sure you have your Google or your Waze on and if you've got to go anywhere the traffic here can be pretty bad so don't forget to check beforehand on Waze or Google how long it's going to take you to get someplace because you will need to give yourself some more time because of the traffic that's here all right now another don't I have for you for those that are going to Disney don't forget Orlando is only about an hour away from here so you can stay in Tampa and have like the city experience without the insanity of Orlando you can do that and just drive over so that's a really nice thing so you can have one of the best airports in the US right here here in Tampa instead of flying into Orlando. And so the thing is though, you don't have to just go to Disney when you are here in Tampa and Florida and stuff like that. Because you know what, my next don't for you is don't forget that Tampa has a lot of world-class things to visit here in the city that you can go check out. You want amusement parks? Yeah, you could hit up Bush Gardens. You want to see the aquarium? Yeah, the Florida Aquarium here, one of the best in the US. It's really cool. Also, if you want to see, have some fun nightlife? Go over to Ybor City at night. You have a good time. Lots of good craft breweries over there. Good times can be had by all. Or you want some other stuff? Hey, behind me, you got the Tampa Museum of Art. You got the Children's Museum right back there that they can do. Heck, there's a dino world if you like dinosaurs. They've got tons of stuff to do. Oh, there's also that Museum of Science and Industry. There's so many things you can do and see when you are here. You know, of course, there's like the beaches we talked about before, or maybe you want to just hike, you know, go on the river walk and walk around. We're going Bayshore Boulevard. There's so many cool things to do when you're here. You want to do some sport fishing? You can do that. I mean, the city has a ton to do, and that's what blows my mind all the time, is there's so much in Tampa, but no one really thinks about it because we always think oh Florida I'm going to Orlando for Disney and I go Miami to party and that's it and the city and this whole area has a lot to do and speaking of some of those places to go so Ybor City is one of the things you want to go see but my don't for that is don't call it Ybor okay it's Ybor okay Ybor say it with me Ybor City all right because that's one of the things when you'll hear locals or you'll see locals when they hear someone go Ybor they go oh what are you talking about? They're like lost or it's like fingernails on chalkboard. So just know it's Ybor City when you come here. And when you go to Ybor City, my don't for eating when you're there, 
don't pass up a chance to have a Cuban sandwich when you are there. Oh my God, they're so good. If you're not sure what a Cubano is, a Cuban sandwich, you have ham, you have pulled pork, you've got pickle, you've got mustard, you got Swiss cheese. And here in Tampa, you got salami on there as well. With the Cuban bread, it's like a sweet kind of bread. And then they toast it. Oh my God, it is phenomenal. Now, I'm also gonna give you a little don't on the side. Don't expect anyone to agree who has the best one in town. What I say is find a place that has it and just enjoy it and let that be your favorite one because there's a lot of great places. But Ybor City, that's the place to grab one, okay? Now, when you're in Ybor City, one thing you'll notice, you'll see a lot of cigar shops. But what I'm gonna tell you is don't forget to go inside and visit some of those cigar shops because really those cigar shops, the cigar industry really is what made Tampa kind of boom in the beginning to keep going. So it is a very integral part of the history of Tampa. Kind of another don't I have for you when you're thinking about Ybor City is don't be surprised if you end up back in Ybor City at night. This place is packed full of bars, restaurants, stuff to do. I mean, it's a cool place to go. So definitely, definitely check it out when you are there. And kind of an add on to that, when you're in Ybor City, you'll see a streetcar going by. You can grab that and it'll actually take you down here to downtown. That is the way you wanna go. If you're gonna go from downtown to Ybor City or vice versa, either drive, take an Uber or grab, take that streetcar because it's a really nice, easy way to go. You see a bunch of stuff along the way. You pass by the Tampa Bay History Museum. You pass by the aquarium when you're there. There's a lot of stuff you see as you go, which is really kind of cool and for the next couple years until at least like 2022 around there it's going to be free for tourists so if you're watching this after then sorry it might not be free anymore so have a heads up for that one now my next few don'ts actually have to deal with your safety when you do come here to tampa and the tampa bay area okay and one is don't just jump in the water look if you're seeing like ponds or retention ponds or lakes and stuff like that around here alligators gators live and breed and have their babies and do all kinds of stuff here in the tampa area and you've got to be careful you don't just jump in because it's not a joke these are not pets these are not things oh let's feed the alligators to see what they do no you do not mess around with the alligators when you are here it is a serious safety issue okay so you got little kids you got your dog stuff like that don't just let them go run out on the pond and stuff like that because it can be an issue i know where my sister-in-law lives they have a fence because the pond behind them has alligators that just pop up every so often so do have a heads up another safety thing when you're heading to those beautiful amazing beaches they have around here don't forget to look at the flags if it says don't go in the water don't go in the water okay because it can be dangerous sometimes there's riptides sometimes there's other stuff but you do need to be careful so don't forget pay attention to the flags when you are there but the thing is if you want to feed the alligators and play with the alligators there are places you can go to do that but you don't want to do that with your toes okay you want to do that with feeding them and stuff like that in a controlled environment all right now some other little things that might bite you when you are here you need to think about don't mess around with the mosquitoes the sand gnats or the palmetto bugs now you probably know mosquitoes right they bite you and they suck your blood and stuff like that and the sad gnats drive you like crazy we always like hold our hand up so it just eats my hand not the rest of my body and then the palmetto bug well, let's put it this way if you think if you imagine godzilla had a baby with a roach that's what this thing looks like okay because they fly in you're like oh my god because believe me you'll know one when you see one you're like mark i'm not sure if that was a palmetto bug it was okay if it's big enough you'll know all right and you'll notice you'll see houses around here that have a you know, kind of a screened in porch but it's an entire room it's called a florida room to keep out those bugs okay so just have a heads up for that another don't i want to tell you it doesn't matter what time of year you're coming here don't forget your sunblock i mean i've seen burn tourists here in january okay so make sure you are lathering up when you come here and you want to apply it more than once and the thing is if you're going to go to some of the parks and stuff like that are outside a lot of people forget oh i'm at bush gardens i'm not going to the beach but it doesn't matter where you are the sun still gets you okay and kind of going along with that bush gardens this isn't really a safety thing it's just another tip don't forget to bring good walking shoes or sports shoes when you come here because if you're going to be going to bush gardens or you're going to be walking the river walk or maybe going on one of the the bikes and stuff like that your feet i mean flip-flops are nice but your feet are going to hurt so you want to make sure you have some good walking shoes to enjoy the parks to do the runs and this kind of stuff like that you know go by the beaches and the boardwalks because it can be a bit painful after a while 
So I got my last two don'ts for you here, and one is, don't be surprised if you come during hurricane season, June through November, if you don't get drenched or wind blow you away and stuff like that, you do need to have a heads up if you're coming at that time. So have some backup plans. What are some things I can do inside, like some of the museums here and stuff like that? Because you know what? You will have some issues you wanna deal with and you wanna watch out for during hurricane season, all right? And my last don't I have for you when you do come here to Tampa is, don't worry about dressing up too fancy when you come here because here in Tampa, flip-flops go with everything. So I wish you a great time here in Tampa. If you want to learn more, maybe the don'ts of visiting Florida or the 10 shocks of visiting the U.S., check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest. Yes, all those things there. I want to give an extra shout out to my buddies at Exploring Tampa for showing me around this cool town. Definitely check out their website. It's in the links below to find some more information on good restaurants and good bars, good drinking spots for more information. And we want to say thank you to all our patrons on Patreon for helping us out as well and making videos like this possible. So you have a great time here in Tampa because you will. I mean, it's got beaches. It's got amazing food. Seriously, the Cuban food. Oh, the Cubans. Oh, they're so good. Just, just know you have a good time, all right? Bye from Tampa.